Welcome back to Taylor, here's another FAA theory question. During a precision radar or ILS approach, the rate of descent required to remain on the glide slope will A. Remain the same regardless of ground speed B. Decrease as the ground speed increases or C. Increase as the ground speed increases So here we are established on the ILS runway 10 right at Fort Pierce Airport. You can see here that we have zero wind and the ground speed is around 100 knots. The rate of descent required to maintain the glide slope can be seen on the vertical speed indicator here and is around 500 feet per minute. Here's an example of a wind from 100 at 20 knots. This is a 20 knot wind blowing from directly ahead, which is my personal favorite. This is given a slower ground speed of 80 knots. If we look at the vertical speed, we can see that the rate of descent required is now around 400 feet per minute so 100 feet per minute or so less than the zero wind scenario. Now let's take a look at the opposite situation. That's right, being blown from the rear. Not a personal preference of mine. Here's a wind of 280 at 20 knots. This is a 20 knot tailwind. As you can see here, the ground speed is 120 to 125 knots, requiring a 6 to 700 feet per minute rate of descent to maintain the glide slope, which is 2 to 300 feet per minute more than the previous situation. You can even see here that the autopilot is struggling to maintain the glide slope with this ground speed and is tending to be high on the glide slope. So when we're on an approach, we have a fixed distance to lose a certain amount of altitude. So if we have a tailwind, we therefore have less time in order to lose the same amount of altitude which requires us to have a greater rate of descent on the approach. A good rule of thumb in order to calculate the rate of descent required for a three degree approach is to take the ground speed and multiply it by five. And this will give you the rate of descent required in feet per minute to maintain a three degree glide path. So as you can see here, with a ground speed of 100 knots, multiplied by five would be 500 feet per minute which is the rate of descent required to maintain the glide slope in this situation. So to answer the question, during a precision radar or ILS approach, the rate of descent required to remain on the glide slope will C. Increase as the ground speed increases.